My name is Jeremy Baker. I went to Queens for a Master's of Applied Science in Mechanical Engineering. After I was graduated, I was hired by Operational Performance Systems as an engineering specialist to design and draw truck body outfits for utility companies in Ontario. My research project at Queen's was in conjunction with General Motors of uh, Canada. Me and, and other members of my group worked on optimizing the thermal management system of electric vehicle batteries, which is a fancy way of saying that we worked on the cooling systems for cars like the Chevrolet Volt. So we, we worked on trying to get the average temperatures and, and the efficiency of the uh, battery cooling systems to, to work better and uh, better. Uh, this is one of the, the first steps in, in making more desirable and user-friendly electric vehicles, uh, which is a big push in, in the automotive market. So kind of in an indirect way, our research helped uh, improve the range and usefulness of electric vehicles and hopefully bring their cost down. Working on a research project with General Motors of Canada allowed me to work with professional engineers who are well established in the industry. After I graduated from my undergrad with a degree in physics, I, re I realized I really needed something more to make myself stand out from other people with a bachelor's degree. Uh, since I was really interested in, in engineering, um, I, I decided that I should do a master's in mechanical engineering. Um, after speaking with some of my previous professors, uh, they really rec recommended that I do a master's of, of applied science where I would undertake a research project. Um, the idea is that having done a, su a successful research project and, and defending your thesis really shows that you're able to undertake a large-scale project uh, and see it through from beginning to end. The project allowed me to, to develop professional skills such as project management and also allowed me to, to experience the real-world expectations that come with an industrial setting, um, such as time constraints, cost constraints, um, and expectations for results of your work.